and today we are going to see how to install Windows 11 on any computer, especially those that state I'm not compatible with Windows 11. It's really easy, it will take a few minutes only and we will need three things. One USB drive, Microsoft Windows 11 and one small tool which is really Cool. Now, once you have your Windows 11 installed, and if you want to activate, don't forget to check out KeysFan, a platform where we'll find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you will see on screen, you will get an extra discount. So just in case you want to check that out, I will leave a link down below. And for this particular guide, I will be using the Zima board, which is a single board server. Really cool. You have seen it right over here. I will leave a link right on the YouTube card so that you can check it out. I'll also be using the Sabrent Q4 2 terabytes, which is a overkill for this guide, but really, really cool. First of all, we will need to find the Windows 11 ISO. So let's search on Google for Windows 11 download. We will find the Microsoft website and we will have three options right over there. I will select the transfer disk image select the language and we can select either Portuguese, which is my first language or English in your particular case. And after that, we just need to confirm and download to our PC. We also need one small and very useful tool, which is Rufus. If you still haven't heard of it, it's great. So we will search on Google for Rufus. We will get into the web page and download the latest version, which at the moment of the recording is 3.22. Then we will have two files and one USB drive. So I will put the USB drive on my computer, we'll open Rufus and we'll select the image of the Windows 11 that we downloaded. In my particular case, it's right on the desktop. I will leave all the options as they are by default and I will press on Start and I will be able to select those several options. In my particular case, I will only be selecting the first and the second one, which are the options to remove Microsoft minimum requirements for Windows 11 and also to allow me to create a local account instead of using the Microsoft account. So these are the options that we have selected, but you can also play around and select, for example, how to create automatically your local account, the original definitions, to disable all those boring questions on the initial setup of Windows and also to disable BitLocker. So this is something that we can try it out. Now, with those two options enabled, I will press on Start and it will show me a warning that it will delete all the content of my USB drive. So just make sure you don't have anything important right over there. We press OK and it will create our USB drive to install Windows 11. And basically, this is it. We have a USB drive ready to install Windows 11. And if you have installed Windows in the past or any other operating system, you don't need to keep on hearing. You can pick up your pen and just go and install Windows 11 and just have fun. If this is the first time that you are doing, then I will stay with you for a couple more minutes and we'll see all the process. Once I have the USB drive, I will need to put it on the computer that I want to install Windows, in this particular case, the Zima board. I will boot it up and once it's booting, I will press delete or F2 so that we go into the BIOS. And on the BIOS, I will select to boot from my USB drive. Usually if we go to exit and save and exit, we will have a option which is the boot override and there we will select the USB drive to boot from. Once we press it, it will start the installation process and we will select the language and keyboard layout press install. Then we will select the version of Windows that we want to use. In this particular case, I did select Windows 11 Home. Select the installation of Windows Advanced Mode, as you can see on screen, and then select the disk that we are going to use, which in my particular case, it's the Sabrent 2 terabytes. Press next and Windows will start to be installed. Copy all the files, the necessary files and so on and so forth. It will reboot about once or twice. And once it comes back, we will get the welcome screen where we'll need to select the region, the keyboard, if we want to connect to the internet or not, which is optional with this installation. Also, if we want to use a local account, which was what I did, or if we want to use a Microsoft account. And a few minutes later, we will be 
in the desktop ready to start using Windows 11, which is just great. So as you can see, really, really easy. And at this moment, if you want to connect to the internet, you can start browsing, start downloading your favorite apps and start using Windows 11 on your older computer that previously stated that was not compatible with Windows 11. And that is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.